I'm going to show you how to assemble IKEA Brimness bed with the storage under it for big drawers as a storage here and we're gonna have a long set bed slots from IKEA as well. I did the video on that previously so I'm gonna leave the link in the description. You can check it out if you choose exactly the same bed slots. Let's do the IKEA Brimness bed. So you're getting three boxes with this bed. There's gonna be a lot of stuff with this bed so electric screwdriver would be very useful here. I'm gonna leave the links in the description what I'm using. So you see there is a lot of parts. I'm gonna have a lot of screws with it. That's indicate there's gonna be a lot of work with this one. I must say it's slightly more complicated than usual bed I think because of the storage under it. If you follow all the steps in details what I'm doing you should be fine. So let's start with those two small panels. So we're gonna have those two same panels and we're gonna add, we're gonna attach first uh, the rails. Three sm small screws which are gonna hold the rail. Watch out the wheel where you position it. it. Should be at the front on this side. The cut on the panel is on the other side. Exactly the same on the other side. So we're gonna mirror basically what we did on the first panel and secure the rail with the three screws. You see the wheel is at the front and opening to the rail is on the top. We do exactly the same on the other side, so just turn the panels upside down, put the rails in. Watch out how you position the rails, especially the opening. A lot of people complain they cannot put the drawers in. I think they're putting the opening on the rail to the other side, so then you're gonna have a problem with the sliding the drawers in. You see the wheel is at the front and the opening is on the top. Here we're gonna have three different sizes of the wooden plugs and we're gonna use the middle size. This is the one and we're gonna put two of them in the front of the panel. Two inner holes, just place them in, secure it in. They go quite deep here because they're gonna be connected with the middle dividing panel. So this is basically the dividing frame on the inside of the bed, exactly the same on the other side, two wooden plugs. Now we have those two, two kind of uh, screws with the head on the both sides, so just place them in. There is small grip in one half, so just go all the way, you go just till the grip. So the grip gonna be on the edge of the board, there it is, just like that. The head is sticking out just slightly, place the lock in. Don't forget to point the arrow in the right direction, so that means the arrow is facing the screw or facing the hole. You see that's the, that's the grip on the screw, so just go till the, on the edge of the panel. Place the lock arrow facing the right direction, so facing the screw. And just twist it to the right side, just one quarter in. Not all the way, for now just one quarter in. There it is. Now we're gonna put the middle dividing panel. This is the longer panel. And we're gonna place those two wooden plugs into the holes. And from the other side, we're gonna place the panel with the screws, then plugs in all the way to the other panel. So we're basically connecting those two small panels uh, through the middle dividing panel. Let's place it in. See, those screws are nicely in, the heads are sticking out from the other side, you can see them through the hole, we're gonna use two exactly the same locks, place them in, arrow pointing to the screws, where is the arrow is the open part on the lock, just place it in and secure it to the right side. Push it all the way in and then secure it. So don't start to twist before you push the locks in. Now you can secure it all the way in and secure the other side completely as well. Now we have the inside ready. These two slim panels are gonna be from under on each side. So just position them this way. The holes on the locks on the sides are from the outer side. Two long screws with the head gonna go on one side and there is a wooden plug next to it. Exactly the same on the other panel. Go just till the stopper, not deeper on or higher on the screw. Otherwise we have a problem to lock the locks after that and place one wooden plug. Now there is going to be two wooden plugs on each side. There it is, two plugs. 
I think this is the slimmer plugs on the sides than the middle one. I'm not sure if I'm correct. I think I am. Yeah, that's those slimmer plugs. So this is the slimmest one from all those three. There it is. We're going to place it under the panel and just tap it all in. Screw on the hole and the wooden plugs in as well. Exactly the same on the other side. Lift it up the whole inner construction and place it all in. This should go easy and smooth inside. Don't force anything in. Watch out where is the screw on which side, where is the wooden plug. And then we're gonna secure it exactly the same as all connections with that cam lock. Just place it in, arrow in the right position and secure it, twist it to the right side and the connection will be locked. Exactly the same on the other side. We place the lock in, there it is, all the way in and after secure it. Here I'm using the bigger screwdriver with the clutch so you can adjust the torque. Very useful this one as well, for especially for the locks. Now we're gonna do the headboard and the footboard. So this one is the headboard, it's without the frame inside. This is the plane, it looks like a plane panel and that's the headboard. We're gonna place both rails and those rails they have a washer under it this big this white uh, circle that's the washer under it and it's gonna go under all holes so you're gonna have a free free screws going through the rail and the washer to the board see here just place it on the top of the hole and exactly the same the last one place it on the top of the hole that's how it look from the top see nicely on the top of the hole and secure it with the screws. Those screws are slightly longer than the ones we used for previously on the small panels. Just place them in and do exactly the same on the other side. Watch where is the wheel on the rail. It should be at the front side from the both sides. And watch as well where you put the opening on the rail. It should be on the top always so you can slide the drawers in after easily. Here we're gonna have these thicker screws that's gonna be connecting to the to the side panels. Just place it in here. You don't need to use screwdriver for that. And those ones are the, the long screws with the head. It's gonna be the locking screws and the cam locks later on. Just go till the stopper, exactly the same screw here in the corner. And it's gonna be the same screw on the other corner. Just go till the stopper, not deeper on or higher. In the other corner we're gonna have exactly the same screw as on the other side, that's the thick screws, just secure them with the hand. Now we have the headboard done, we can do exactly the same with the footboard, you see this is the panel with the frame on the middle. And we're gonna have uh, six washers, three on each side for the rail, and we're gonna do exactly the same. Just prepare your screws around you. Don't uh, attach attach it like I do here. So you see, I have very limited space here, so I can I have to improvise around. So I'm assembling it basically on the top of the of the uh, bed frame. So if you have enough space, just put the board on the floor. It's much simpler, easier to have a flat surface, not flying in the air like I do here. Second rail, you see the wheel is at the front the opening to the wheel is on the top and we secure that rail with the three screws, three longer screws through the washers. On the middle two screws with the head just till the stopper as I mentioned before. If you go deeper or higher always problem to lock the uh, lock the cam locks after on, after later on so just go till the stopper there. Thick screws on the side gonna be the main connection just secure them with the hand don't need to go too hard on those. Exactly the same on the other side, you have the thick screw there. Now we have the footboard done as well. Headboard, we're gonna put the legs. This is the underside, so don't mis make a mistake and put those legs on the top. So it's gonna into the part where is the rails. Closer to the rails, that's the bottom part of the footboard and headboard. Those legs are good if you wanna slide the bed later on, it's easier or if you have a wooden floor you're not gonna scratch it. Middle panel, two wooden plugs on the top and on the bottom. Not sure what is the size of the plugs, I think it's the middle size here. And now we can secure the headboard first in. So go at the bottom, you're gonna have to put all the holes at the same time here. So just go slowly here because those, especially those slim panels under the middle constructions they are a bit wobbly so just find all the holes don't go all the way in yet 
find the other side as well you see it's popping nicely in don't force it too hard just tap it in tap the middle and once you're in you can place the lock and secure it so you have one side ready you see there is the opening the middle still because don't have the bigger side panel yet then just place the locks in and secure the connection I like this uh, bigger screwdriver, this combination of the drill and the screwdriver together. So if you have it in screwdriver mode with the clutch, it's fantastic to lock those locks. You never go and go over the over the overboard with the when you adjust it, you don't need to focus on that. Just adjust the torque and it's gonna stop automatically when you're happy. Now we're gonna have uh, the side panels, you're gonna have these thicker locks, arrow on the front facing the hole exactly the same on this one you see the arrow on the front it's gonna face the hole if you make this there it is arrow pointing to the side panel to the hole if you put this wrong you're not gonna be able to lock the connection and it's quite hard to if you put them upside down I have a lot of comments when the people put them upside down so watch which side you put in it's hard to take them out two wooden plugs this is the biggest plugs in the box so is it going two wooden plugs in each panel two on each side and exactly the same the cam locks arrow pointing to the hole and exactly on the other one cam lock big one pointing arrow on the hole don't put them the other way around you're gonna have a hard time to take them out here you're gonna have a bracket on the middle of the each panel this is basically gonna hold the cross on the middle on the top to just place those two screws in watch how the bracket is positioned you see it's sticking out now from the panel turn them upside down and place it in the thick screw on the headboard first there's two holes for the wooden plugs just slide it in and place that between the the middle panel so you have a you the panel is holding on the middle i didn't put the screws yet i'm gonna secure first this so if you put the cam lock in correctly you're not gonna have a problem you can get like one millimeter or two millimeters from the edge you're not gonna be able to slide it completely in but once you maximum in you can start to lock the connection here you just put it on the top because it's not letting me in closer but watch out don't slide don't slide from that side down so that's how much you can get in you see there is a big gap bit of gap at the moment but you can start to tie the connection in once you're happy and there is no gap anymore you can you can put the bracket in you can put it in before or if it doesn't go just tight, tighten the front first and put the put the bracket in don't force nothing before now we can secure the brackets so it's not gonna fall off the of the side watch out when you do the front the big cam lock don't don't push this uh, panel of the middle panel because you can break all the connections so watch out don't slide that panel down before you attach the screws now we're gonna do the uh, bottom panel the footboard just find all holes exactly the same on the uh, leg on the front but now we have the the side panels in as well so we're gonna find the more holes at the same time top and the bottom just place them in no need to go all the way in at first find all the holes and then tap it all in see here this is the last connection here place it in see the middle is opening always up closing so just I'm still quite open on the other side but I'm happy with this side so I'm gonna close it so it's not gonna open anymore when I'm gonna when I'm gonna fix the middle and the other side so now it's closed that side yeah I can focus on the other side here just pop in nicely see I have to bang it a bit harder here to complete the connection because it's one two three four five spots at the same time to be connected and now you can secure the lock here on the top and place the cam lock in arrow facing the hole it's like twist it to the right side exactly the same on the middle two locks place them in point the arrow where you're supposed to and twist the locks now this is the other side the bottom panel slim one exactly the same secure the connection now we're gonna have those two brackets on the footboard and the headboard 
you secure them in with the two screws and depend how high you want the uh, bed slats you see there is two screws two holes on the top of the bracket you can position it higher or lower in this case we're gonna go lower because we have the long set bed slats which they quite have a quite thick frame we don't want to go over the if you go with the top holes the long set bed slats would go over the over the top we don't want that we want the matrat sitting nicely in in the bed frame check what kind of bed slats you're buying with this bed and then you can choose how high you want to position the the frame i like them in the bottom holes because the uh, the matrats would sit nicely in in the bed exactly the same on the other side we're gonna fix the rail there's two line of holes so depend how high you want to go you go with the first or second line we're going in the second line here just secure it all around make sure all the screws are completely in this is quite an important bracket because it's gonna hold all the weight there on the middle we're gonna have this extending here connecting the middle so bed slot's gonna rest on the middle on this one those uh, things are gonna hold the frame in a in the right position so make sure the bed is in the right position before you attach them you put those two those small screws they're gonna hold it on the side it's quite hard to fix them with the metal uh, uh, rails i'm gonna show you how to do it i got a lot of questions about this i cannot the people cannot fix those because uh, it's coming metal on metal so you're gonna have to push it a bit harder here so two screws here at the front of the back and on the sides so you see i'm pressing quite hard on that on the metal bracket from under and then electric screwdriver here is very useful because you can go a bit faster so just press it from under and push it hard from the top that's the key to success here so just be patient if it doesn't go just push it harder from under and push it harder from the top so you need to press it against against the connection to secure this one properly so at this point you have a bed in the place so the, that's mean the 90 degrees in each corner how you can measure that you can measure with a meter from corner to corner and you should get an equal number before you do this because the bed should could twist slightly to one side and another side once you secure this the bed gonna stay in a, in a place on the middle once you're happy how the bed is you can secure the rails so the bed's not gonna move anymore there it is, we secure all of them. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the drawers, the storage for the bed. I'm gonna do three only because I don't have a space here, but you're gonna have a four. This apply to all, all the all the drawers. I'm gonna have quite a lot of screws with this. So instead of the three, you're gonna do four, or you can do one. you can do one by one, but this is faster if you do all at the same time. So this is the dividing panels. You see there is a dots and there is panels without the dots so you're gonna combine one with the dot one without the dot for each drawer so it's a left and a right for each drawer place the wooden plugs first on the top panel in this case i have six here but you're gonna have eight because you're gonna do four drawers so i'm doing only three so i've got only six of these panels so don't get confused with the numbers here because i don't do one of the drawers at the moment here we're gonna place those uh, locks unfortunately they are plastic but that's what you have to work with it's exactly the same the arrow is pointing to the hole this is the front panel and we're gonna place two long screws on each side of the front panel go to the stopper only as i mentioned before that's apply for all these screws you're gonna have an easy time if you do this right once you're gonna connect the side panels with the front panel exactly the same on the other side you're gonna place two screws in each drawer Now we can connect the dividing panels. So we're gonna take three without the dots and three with the dots. In your case, if you do four, pan four drawers, you're gonna have four and four. Or if you're gonna do one panel, you're gonna have one and one. Three panels on one side, place it in. You see the gap on the middle, on the, on, on the, uh, the end of the panel is on the top. So that's how you're putting them in, place it in. The other side, exactly the same. Now we can secure the locks so if you put the plastic locks in the right direction i mean the arrow on the lock you're not gonna have any problem to connect if the panels go very hard you tap it in and it doesn't go just check the arrow where did you point it and uh, make it right 
Now back panels, just place them in. See, I'm doing it all in a bulk, so this is much faster if you work in with the more drawers, so you do them all at the same time, if you have enough space, as I don't have here enough space, but you see, even, even in a small space, you can do at least three or two at the same time, you save time, don't need to do one by one, it just take a bit longer. So place the back panel in after secure it with those plastics in. This is very similar to all IKEA drawers. So if you did any IKEA furniture before, you would be familiar with this. So hold the um, back panel and the place uh, and the secure the plastics in. We're going to do exactly the same on the other side. Hold the back panel, place those plastic in and hammer them in. It's kind of wobbly connection. I would say they should do something different instead, but I guess that's the cheapest option. One screw at the bottom, gonna secure the uh, the rail, which is gonna hold the weight on the middle, which is good thing. Well done IKEA for this one, because the drawers are quite big. You, if you put heavier weight, this is basically holding the weight on the middle. So the, the bottom panel, which is a bit slim, not gonna uh, bend and and slide on the floor like over time so this is the screw you see don't put the screw completely in at the bottom just leave it slightly out if it's too much out you're gonna see the the rail gonna wobble just tighten it slightly in not all the way in twist the rail in and secure it on the top now we're gonna do the rails the wheel is at the back and we secure it with the three screws for the each rail Important thing, place the rail at the back, please. I see so many comments when the people suffering with the I cannot put the rail in. Yes, you put the wheel on the other side or the, rail, the other rail which is attached to the frame is the wrong way around. That's most of the cases where you cannot put the drawers in. For the door handle, we have two screws. Just place them from the inner side and secure the drawer handle with the two screws from the inner side. So we have all those done. I'm gonna fix the last two drawer handle, two screws from the inner side, secure them in. You can do this before you build the bed as I did before, or you can do after. Slide the drawers in. So you, if you did everything right with the drawer uh, rails on the panels and on the drawer, you should be fine to slide it in. Just go over the hole and slide it in. That's what I was mentioning. The opening on the rail should be on the top always so you can slide the wheel in. If you put it the other way around, it's possible to fix them on the on the side panels, but you're not going to be able to slide the rail in because the opening is on the bottom part. There it is, other side, exactly the same as you see. I have very limited space here, but even the big bed like this is possible to do it if you just patient enough. Oh, you just follow this video. And that's how you assemble IKEA Brimness bed. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If yes, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel as always. You will make my day. And uh, I have a problem with the drawer here. What happened? Let me check it out. Probably the screws in inside sometimes can happen. You can feel here like a rattling noise when the screw come on the top of the screws. Just tighten the screws a little bit in. You'll be fine. Once you do that, the noise should disappear. So try to go with the screws on the rail straight in. Don't leave the heads out. Otherwise, you're going to hear kind of funny noise when you slide in the whole thing in. And this is it. This is the uh, long set bed slats. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, you can find the video here. I'm going to leave the link in the description. And that's how you do this bed. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it helped you. If yes, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. It helps a lot. Thank you very much. And see you in my next one very, very soon. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a fantastic day.